good day um, welcome to um, my channel my name is uh, engineer Nemeka Chukukoswe I am the uh, director of civil engineering department large frank engineering company Nigeria limited today in this tutorial video uh, we have a screencast of analysis and design of a uh, bottle frame um, steel structure um, we have before us the symmetric view of the of the structure uh, you can see the bracings you can see the rafters you can see the stanchion so um, let us view the dimensions of the structure before we go ahead with the analysis and design so you go to utilities and uh, you know that to um, not to load distance so the distance from one frame to another we have it to be 5.5 meters and uh, the height of the stanchion is uh, 4.5 meters so the height of the roof pitch is about 4 meters as well so no 3 meters we have the height of the pitch to be 3 meters the height of the stanchion 5.5 and the distance between each frame uh, one frame to another is 4.5 meters so we let us view the, the loads we applied on the structure we have the the dead uh, load which includes the self weight and uh, uh, the sheetings, the pole line loads and we also have the life loads as well so we have to apply a loading combination uh, according to British standards so you go to load case details you add um, automatic load um, combination so let's this is American standard let's choose a uh, British standard so use BSH110 generate automatically the load so this is uh, uh, 1.4 and 1.6 uh, these are the factors uh, the, the, the safe load factors and um, we have to remove this ones because we are not using them we have to remove this ones we are not using them this will give us the load at the ultimate limit state 1.4 by GK and 1.6 by QK so you add so we are done with the loading let us go ahead with the analysis so you click on analysis you you know click on define commands then you add and you have to go to run analysis let us run the analysis and see what we have and as you can see we have zero errors zero warning so uh, we are good to go so you can see the, uh, the the deflections, uh, the displacements, and uh, shear forces you apply here, and you you click on OK. As you can see, this is how uh, our you know. Let's show it on uh, this animation. So the deflection. So apply. Let's see how. As you can see, this is what uh, you are expecting to happen if the structure is not well you know arranged if it's not if the correct and the right members are not used this is what will happen in real sense so let us go over to analytical model let's go to design so that we can design and provide um, our members um, uh, sections for the structure so from this current code you have american standard let's change it to british standards here i'll be using bs5950 2000 so <coughs> Click on select members click on ok now you have to define parameters you know especially to choose the steel strength that you are using the steel grid so you come to py you have the uh, the, the steel strength with respect to um, this 810 you click on add now i want at the end of the day to get the calculation sheet for this uh project so i'll have to click on i'll have to click on the print expanded output so you add so you come to command uh, you want the software to check the code that I you know assigned to the uh, to the structure you click on add you you come to select it says select list weight section size based on specification of the desired code you click on add now select optimize here it says select optimum section size for all members using a procedure called for multiple cycles of analysis what happens is that um for this structure i already assigned some section properties to the rafters to the columns to the beams but what this select optimize does for you is it checks those sections that i assigned 
whether they are okay if they are not the software by itself will provide sections that are suitable you know for the for the project so you click on add <laughs> click on all so all these are parameters you assign you have to assign them to the view to the whole structure so you come to the grid you assign to view you come to the calculation you assign to view check code you assign to view um, now the select you also assign to view now we can perform our analysis complete analysis okay so let's see what we have <coughs> just wait a minute um, um, you can see start pro is actually a very good um, software so um, the analysis um, has been uh, performed completely so we have to now go to go go to uh, post processing mode okay now we want to see those members that the software provided for us and also check the ones that we you know assigned while modeling the structures so you go to layout and um, click on utilization um, you can see from this allowable ratio the, the allowable ratio the utilization ratio is one so any utilization ratio that is greater than one means that the section did not pass any utilization ratio that is far below one means you have to it is too safe like um, this the, the, the section is um, uh, too safe you have to uh, and it's not economical you have to check for lesser section that can still do the work so you can see on this column you have the members that I provided for the software and uh, here you have the ones that the software provided you can see I assigned uh, universal column 152 by 152 for uh, these and the software still maintained 152 by 152 for this side now for the universal beam can see I assigned 127 by 76 the software chose 914 by 419 um, it's actually um, uh, it's actually true because of the span of the of the um, butter frame so I want the software to replace these um, uh, the, the ones that I assigned by myself I want them to be replaced by the one that was that were provided by the software so we click on update properties click on yes so in this way clicking on each of these will show you um, the the member that has been assigned so for this rafter you can see you have uh, 914 by uh, 419 so for these of course you should have same as well so um for this external column let's see what we have 152 by 152 now let's check for the internal column I still have 152 by 152 okay so that is all for now I um, in my next video I'll be showing us how to um, produce the, um, the detailed drawing using the steel auto drafter um, for these, uh, this is Start Pro uh, Connect Edition. It, it, it makes use of uh, Steel Auto Drafter. You can use it to get your detailed drawing, the sections, and uh, uh, including your your quantity, uh, your your materials that you'll be using. You know. So that is all for now. Um, thank you for for watching. I will encourage us to you know subscribe to to my channel you know and uh, if you are around the eastern part of the country you can as well call on the number that you have uh, with this video uh, I can you know, provide uh, the tutorials including the use of Orion software and uh, other softwares for for you thank you very much and till we meet again I remain in touch with God's work God bless